Paul, uh, a 6-1 win in the uh, Isuzu FA Vars. Sees us progress to the next round against Kendall. Initially, your thoughts on today's game? Yeah, I think it was a good reaction from the lads. Um, after the disappointment of, uh, of Wednesday night, you know, it felt like a bit of a loss Wednesday night, even though you know, for 95% of the game we were excellent. It was probably our best home performance of the season, even though you know, everybody's been talking about the, you know, giving that away that three goal lead. But I think the day was a little bit of a, a no win situation for our lads because, you know, we're expected to win the game today against a team, you know, struggling in the in the league below us. So no disrespect to them. We you know, we expected to win today and you know the, the lads have done great. I think they you know, they approached the game well. Um, they haven't let Wednesday night be a hangover, so They've come, they've performed well, they've, you know, they've enjoyed it and they've scored some you know, fantastic goals and some really good performances. So uh, we're really pleased into the next round. You know, it's, always a, it's always a good one to, to, to do well in the bars. You know, I've done that myself as a player. Um, it's a really good competition for us at this level. So yeah, but overall we're really, we're really pleased with the uh, performance and, and the win. How important do you think it is today? Obviously six goals, but six different scorers, obviously Cole, Jason, Jack will get goals over through the season as the, the more forward players do it. How important do you think it is to get goals throughout the squad? Yeah, definitely. I think and certainly that our wide lads, you know, have created goals for us. We, you know, we're challenging them to, to, to get goals themselves. So Jack and, and Jack o have got on the score sheet of Jay today. JJ has got himself another goal and, and obviously Jason and Cole are, are, are chipping in really well as the forward players. So it's important we get goals from all over the pitch. No, even we talked about our set players at you know at half time we I think we had you know five or six corners early on that we should have done really you know we should have done better with really um, and, and we've got to be more potent and you know centre half scoring goals off corners and, and things like that. But please today there's six different scorers, six goals, you know. So no, overall really good. Definitely, and you, you've already touched on uh, JJ's performance, <coughs> chosen for man of the match today. What what do you think made him stand out? I think that position's ideal for him. I think we've, you know, we've tried him in a number of different uh, positions in midfield, but I think the Wickham game uh, really stood out in terms of um, the position he plays as a number ten, the forward runs he makes, um, and he was good and he set the tone. I said to him half time, we said we needed lads to just set the tone today, and um, what could be a difficult afternoon, but it, it, it wasn't in the end. And you know, JJ got Jason as well. You know, his tempo up top and him and JJ complimented each other well and set the tone and got us a good result. And uh, just just to finish Paul, uh, we now look ahead to our next game in the Northern League is next Saturday, a rearranged fixture against Seam. Uh, how does the squad look ahead of that game? Yeah, um, obviously a couple of lads away, obviously Sid has just got married so you know congratulations to him and his um, his new wife uh, Emily, so they go on, honey on honeymoon uh, from Tuesday I think so we'll miss Sid is. Jack's away as well on holiday. Jack Blackford, so we we'll miss Jack. Um, but the rest should be fine. Obviously, we you know hoping to sign uh, maybe one or two players this week to to just bolster the squad. So looking forward to that game. It's always tough against Seymour, even though they haven't started the the league campaign well. It'll be a really tough game. It always is. So we'll look forward to that next Saturday. JJ, a six-one win today in the Isuzu FA Vars. Caesars go through to the next round against Kendall. Let's start with your thoughts on today's game. It was a great, great day, day for the lads. Uh, very good. I fought on the ball, kept the ball well, uh, moved it quickly. Um, they didn't offer too much, but they kept on going. So we just had to keep on moving it quickly and just finish the chances when we had, when we had them. Obviously, we missed quite a lot of chances, I think, but six one, so I think it was good. To get, get the goals and then obviously move on to the next round. Captain the team, the, the FA Vars is a, is a massive competition, JJ. What do you think the, 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 the club's hopes and the team's hopes are for, for this competition, but also the, the league campaign going forward? We, well, the lads spoke with about it before the, uh, before the start of the game. We want to go as far as, as we can in this competition, obviously. We're thinking a lot about the league in terms of finishing, obviously, as high, high as possible as we can in there. But the cup, I think, last year we, we were disappointing going out early. In this, in the uh, in the bars. So this season, yeah, we're, re we're really going for it. Obviously, just take every game as it comes. I think the lads have spoke about it. We don't want to get too ahead of ourselves. Obviously, we've had a good start, but we know we still got we still got improvement. We still got like new lads who came in that start of the season. So we're still we're still bonding, still learning out 
different people, like how, how the players that we brought in, how they like to play. So I think it's good. I think obviously we just want to go as far as as far as we can in this and stay stay up there in the league as well. And Jay, like looking at your time at the club, last two or three years, gone from you know someone that would come on from the bench maybe two or three yeah. years ago to to captain and you know arguably one of the first names on the team sheet. How, how is that something you, you, that you deal with that change and how hopeful are you for the season for for your own ambitions? Yeah, obviously being being a young lad, I just want to play as many minutes as I can. So and then like the start of it when I was just coming on coming on from the bench obviously you just try and make an impact where you can like your 10 minutes or whatever but obviously I kept kept doing it kept working hard the pre-season and stuff like that and obviously I was given a chance then Billy spoke to us he obviously he wanted me to be captain uh, so I just took it like took that captain on and just loved it really just obviously I'm quite loud quite confident with the lads so they know I don't don't shy away from like speaking on the pitch and obviously speaking in the changing rooms as well so yeah it's good.